Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on whiteclo.oplegends.com and today I'm going to be going over the best way to get money and I also want to go ahead and show my spawner off. First things first, I do want to go and sh show off the spawner that we did build in the last video. So here it is and it's pretty basic so far. We don't have too many spawners but we are currently trying to expand it. We have 2.82 bill right now. I have been doing a little bit of grinding there and let's see. So if we do slash shop and we go into the ender my spawners, boom, we can actually buy. Okay, one stack two stacks three stacks um let's just try to buy the max that we can and it looks like we're gonna be able to get five stacks of endermite and we're gonna go ahead and place these um kind of following this pattern where we put a spawner block spawner block we can put some more pillars too if they do fill up too much i'm gonna go ahead and place them all of these are endermite i'm pretty sure these are skeletons and these are just a mix of some random spawners that i, that I did get these two are endermite so i might continue the pattern there but i did upgrade the uh spawner stack size and eyes upgrades this basically lets me put 256 spawners in a single like stack right here and i'm pretty sure in this one there's only 16 so yeah we're definitely gonna just put them all here it should automatically go into these stacks so this one has 208 and yeah so we didn't actually have to build a new dinghies so we're definitely gonna use that and now this is gonna make us some money when we do afk if you come down here i have a very basic set system set up if you go ahead into my pv let's get a basic cell one right now let's get this one see how much we can make from selling them all um some of them are empty they're not really that full but as you can see each chest is around almost 1.5 to 2 million and we didn't get too much but as we do keep getting more spawners we will definitely get more and one thing i forgot to mention is the armor the pharaoh set right here actually gives us a 0 0.5 money multiplier so we should probably try to craft this pretty soon um streamlight streamlink is definitely the best for farming but this money set would definitely be good and now the way to get the most amount of money is of course nether wart because honestly it's just really really good for money as you can see if i mine this little bit right here and do slash sell hand that's already two mil and that was probably not even like five seconds so it is really really crazy and if we take a look my current instincts are replant telepath and sickle sickle is the best after you do get replant telepath just for getting money but this hoe can only hold three enchants. But so once I do get a better one, we'll fully max it out. And also, we did get the sickle four enchant, which you can only get from monthly crates. I'm pretty sure. I bought it off another player for some credits. We're gonna use that not on, not on the honey hoe, which is the next one, but actually from dungeons you can actually get the earth root hoe, which is a little bit better than the honey hoe. So we're gonna wait for that. We might actually have to buy the earth root hoe from somebody. I'm pretty sure you only get it from dungeons. But yeah, we are at 4k trophies right now. We are, I do kind of want to get to ice top, which is 130k trophies. So we're going to have a, we have a lot more grinding to do, but as we do keep getting better armor, like if we take a look, we're only on scarecrow armor, which gives us farming fortune, which is pretty good. There is definitely some better armor that we could be getting. But yeah, our nether work farm is honestly really, really big. I don't think we will have to expand it. Maybe when we do get the sickle four on it. But yeah, as you can see, it goes from all the way over there to there. And honestly, it took quite a bit to make, but it is honestly definitely worth it. We get a ton of money now from it. We are currently using my unique plus XP pet, which is level 270. So it's going to give us some XP boost. We did get some mob coins from some crate keys. So we did go and... We did do some ice upgrades. If we take a look, we did max out the spawner stack size and also the mob spawn speed. So the mob farm over there should be making a decent amount of money when we do go ahead in AFK. But let's go ahead and open up some crate keys. You get crate keys by mining, grinding, farming, just all that stuff, just grinding in general. So let's do slash crates, boom. We have about 289 grind keys. Let's open it all. It kind of takes a little bit because it opens them like individually. If you look at the right, my mob coins are going up. We're gonna open up these, then the next ones are pretty sure are loot crates and then relic crates and uh, the, all the other crates. So it's still going. Hopefully we get a lot of mob coins. We've gotten up like 12K already, which is good because we do need mob coins for the auto condensed vouchers. So we got some experience some money we're definitely going to take the experience too because we're going to need it once we get better armor and gear and stuff from this we got some relic key keys boosters at box let's go to the next one six relic keys not anything too crazy regular dungeon core um oh this one's not mm, this one's all right but let's open up the pet boxes boom i don't think we got any pet upgrades here we have two unique pets so we're just waiting to get another one to actually go ahead and upgrade it to the next tier but yeah we're definitely going to take these we're going to place down these spawners i don't think they give me too much but they're just an extra spawner in the in the farm and i think we have eight spoke keys i don't know how good these are a hog gun spawner um we're gonna hold on to that i don't i don't know i think that's a big mob i don't know if it's gonna be able to fit in there but boom player shop okay nothing too crazy but definitely gonna take all the mob coins because those are gonna help us with auto condensed vouchers island upgrades all that good stuff there so i think i'm gonna buy an auto condensed
defense voucher i do want to grind for a little bit but i do want to show you how good it really is so boom let's claim it and so if we just mine it will auto condense for us and once we do get better sickle or if we even can because it's from the monthly crate but once we do get a better hoe and stuff and some farming fortune we're gonna be making so much money from the nether war as you can see i'm almost at about 32 enchanted nether war so it's really good because i would probably have like so many full inventories by now so you really do want to get an auto condensed voucher when you are farming the nether war and we also do want to farm up to the level 125 for the honey hoe and we will also unlock the mythical forest i'm pretty sure and that's where you get the resources for the honey hoe but yeah i think i might grind for a little bit maybe get some points up some money okay, so we've been farming for a bit but it doesn't mean we've been farming the whole time because sometimes once we farm the whole like farm is like broken because of me farming it and that's why we do need to expand it so we can constantly keep farming the auto condenser is gone uh but we did get this much let me see we got about all these stacks so let's go ahead and sell it with a sell one um let's go use this one let's get the money pack out of my backpack boom uh, let's go ahead and equip it disable this one equip this one and let's just sell it boom and we made about 400 million which we're definitely gonna take i think we could buy another stack of endermite with it if we take a look in slash shop boom endermite yeah we can buy another stack and that's just gonna help us if we do want to keep uh, placing it let's see if how full these are these are not full at all but we actually haven't been afking it because we've been farming another work but yeah definitely gonna take the money and as we do keep getting better hoes and better farms we will get even more money i think i'm gonna go ahead and do a dungeon so if we do slash dungeons we already completed the beginner one but now we have the gateway grotto so let's go click it start dungeon boom i've never done this one before so let's like it continues where the beginner one actually left off let's go in here i have a pickaxe and food just in case we need it i'm pretty sure you do can run out of food Food. so yeah we're gonna keep food so it looks like we're entering the gateway grotto from the last dungeon it says good luck so let's break the door down so it looks like they're gonna be a little bit stronger um okay it looks like they're a lot a bit stronger we definitely should have maybe gotten some better gear like some gold gear but for now we're just gonna have to use what we have so it might take a little bit to actually do this dungeon or we might not even be able to complete it i don't think yeah we just died so i think we might have to wait until we get some better gear because these do a lot of damage and they also have a ton of health and we do barely any damage so okay so we couldn't do the dungeon because we just need better gear honestly so we're gonna wait until we get some better gear maybe let me check what the gold one is boom if you go to gold a gold sword does eight damage yeah way better than the iron gear so we're probably gonna have to do that but probably not this episode but if you see this guy is selling the sickle for enchant i do really want to do it so let's offer some credits i don't really know the going price so let's just offer 20 credits for now and see what he says okay so we're gonna be trading all of our credits for it so boom click here to accept currency where's credits credits 569 boom that's all of our credits and okay this is gonna be kind of crazy we're gonna not put it on this one we're gonna wait until we get the actual honey hole though let's see confirm and it should be in our mailbox boom and yeah now we do have a sickle for enchant which is the best the sickle it's gonna make us a ton of money once we do get on the good hoe let's see slash armor uh where is it at granny tools honey level 125 which honestly isn't too far away if we do keep grinding but i think i'm gonna go ahead and expand the nether war farm now i don't know if we're gonna save for the honey hoe because there is actually a better hoe you get from dungeons it is called the earth root hoe and i think you can only get it from dungeons so we might have to buy it with some more credits that we can get we have expanded our nether war farm a little bit as you can see it is bigger now this nether war farm is gonna allow us to grind for a lot longer without it being completely empty so we get us level up a lot faster get more nether war and make a lot more money that way and now we do have 688 mil so let's go ahead and buy some endermite spawners that we could go place down in our farm so let's just get a stack for now let me get a pickaxe real quick this is kind of how we have it set up right now so we're just gonna break these blocks in between we do want to go ahead and up these spawners that we are going to go ahead into the island upgrades and go ahead and up the amount of spawner stack size limit so boom now we have 32 so let's just split it in half and boom okay should be working now boom boom and that is pretty epic and we're gonna be making a lot more money from those endermites because we did add another stack we're at about 2,000 trophies which is nowhere near ice top so we're gonna have to keep grinding those nether boards and with our improved farm we should be getting a lot more money and skills and stuff like that and we'll be able to craft better armor and gear but that's gonna be it for today's video i hope you guys did enjoy make sure to join the server using whitecloud.oplegends.com and i'll see you in the next one peace